TIR Na Nog is a video game published in 1984 by Gargoyle Games for the ZX Spectrum and Amstrad CPC. It was ported to the Commodore 64 in 1985. It is loosely based on Celtic mythology. The game was widely positively received by the gaming media. The game forms part of an unofficial trilogy with the science fiction title Marsport and Dundurak. Dundurak is a direct continuation of the Kukulain storyline, whereas Marsport shares only the game engine. The game has many features that were groundbreaking in 1984, such as a large central character, animated backgrounds, and parallax scrolling. Psygnosis Software planned to release a PC remake of the game, helmed by the game's original creators Greg Follis and Roy Carter, in June 1995. However, though near completion, the project was cancelled. Plot TIR Na Nog, Irish for «Land of Youth», is the eponymous location for the game. The protagonist, Cuculain, has departed the land of the living and finds himself at an altar in this land, essentially an afterlife. His goal is to reunite the four fragments of the Seal of Callum and place it on the altar, all while avoiding the Sidhi. Topic. Gameplay Gameplay takes the form of an arcade adventure with the player controlling the hero as he wanders the land of Tir Na Nog collecting objects, solving puzzles and trying to keep out of the way of the city who also wander the land. Many of the puzzles that Kukulain is set are cryptic in nature e.g., the back door key is me, rather than straightforward and may rely on some lateral thinking. Because he is in an afterlife, Kukulain cannot die and if he is defeated. By a city he is simply transported elsewhere and loses all his carried objects. The land of Tir Na Nog is very large and consists of plains, caverns and forests. Kukulain can move north, south, east and west with the player, rotating the view using the keyboard and then having Kukulain move left or right on the screen. The player can collect any objects they come across with Kukulain being able to carry several at one time. Some of these objects can be used as weapons with the game allowing the player to thrust with any item. Crash printed a map of the game in the March 1985 issue, which was later reprinted in ZZAP 64. Topic: Reception. The game was well received. ZZAP 64 called it a real arcade adventure. The graphics are stunning and the scenery excellent." Noting the multiple puzzle solutions and large game world. See also Irish mythology